Hey, that video is number one on YouTube. It just debuted yesterday. Yeah. And it's everyone's, it's everyone's forwarding to each other. It's gigantic. I can't believe it. It's so cool. <laughs> it's and you're great. doing it's a different type of dance thing for you, too. Yeah, stepping, actually. Stepping. Um, yeah, don't ask me how I learned that, because I'm really bad taking choreography. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm not a trained dancer. So usually, I, I just like to improvise on stage. Is that what that is? But this time around. Phenomenal. <laughs> Phenomenal yeah. improvising. Yeah, Thank absolutely. You. Yeah, you're so talented. This time around, I, I wanted to learn something new, and um, so so I, I kind of got into this whole like stepping thing, yeah. which is something. It's a dance form, um, very much very common in, in colleges and you know sororities and, and fraternities. And, oh yeah, they all yeah. do it. Yeah. So it took me a couple of days, but after after a while, I, I got it. Yeah, I. At some couldn't... point, I almost give up on it. Oh really? It's, you know, it's all these like. <laughs> don't you don't even ask me to repeat it. <laughs> I like it. That's yeah. pretty good. See, if I did that at a club, people would be like, hey, dude, you're, you're in the wrong place. You got to get out of here. Like, no one dances like that. Like, I can't pull it off at all. But you do. You look amazing up there. Uh, well, you now, play the guitar real, really well. I do. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, please, thank you. Know, you. So everybody has a talent. Oh, see? Oh, you're so positive and nice. I just had three huge giants, just <laughs> football players, just making fun of me. Yeah. Uh, so it feels really good. I want you here more often. Uh, now, your accent, it's, uh, what, what, what are you? you you're I'm Colombian. Colombian, that's uh -huh. right. But you, yeah. <clears throat> but you live, in, you live in the Bahamas, right? I do. That's right. That's yeah. gorgeous. It is great. It's I mean, I vacation in the Bahamas. Yeah, I originally started going to the Bahamas because um, of this legendary studio where some of my favorite bands used to record, like Zeppelin and, and The Cure and uh, Bob Marley as well. I was reading about that. Yeah, it's like ACDC, AC all those bands. Yeah, so I, I was Bahamas? very intrigued by the place. Yeah, they <clears throat> recorded in the Bahamas in this studio called Compass Point. So uh, from the times of laundry service, I started going to the Bahamas. Until one, one day I said, let's just get a house here. And, um, and I love it there. You know, the Bahamians are so chill. And sometimes I don't even wear shoes for days. And I'm in my PJs all day. And it's God. great. When <clears throat> I'm not working, of course. Well, I do that around yeah. the office here. And no one seems to mind. <laughs> really? yeah, yeah. I'm in my PJs all day, yeah. <laughs> Barefoot. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I'm just dancing. Like, like guys, like, we're getting canceled. <laughs> Come on, stop it. Uh, but yeah, you, you, cause you're, you're huge in pop music. Uh, I think it was first like the Latin at first. That's what you did first, and then like Latin pop. But I didn't know that your your roots were like rock and roll. I guess you have to go pop first. You can't really go from rock and roll to pop. Yeah, it all seemed like I was gonna be a rock chick. Like when I was 18, and I started um, touring Latin America, I was very much influenced by rock music, and I used to listen to Nirvana and you know Metallica and all these like hardcore did you really? bands. Yeah, uh, and then I I did the famous crossover, <laughs> and, and um, I became a pop artist, which is great, because it gives me so many licenses, you know? It gives me the license to go anywhere in any direction I want to go, I can go, it's, it's just, I can explore yeah, you can any, <clears throat> any, any type of field. genre of music, yeah, you Exactly, because rock and roll sometimes has certain rules that you cannot break, or you're not supposed to break, you know? But yeah, as a pop the... artist, there's a certain freedom to it that I really enjoy. That's super fun, yeah, because I, I, I was, I also read too that you, to learn uh, English, you you read a lot of Bob Dylan lyrics. Bob Dylan, is that right? Yeah, uh, Leonard Cohen. As yeah, well. Leonard Cohen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if I was gonna do it, you know, if I was gonna learn English, I better um, learn from the masters. Yeah, they're and great. I to Thank understand God you everything about you know <clears throat> um, uh, the resources of English literature and composition and all of that. So. Thank God you didn't end up singing like Bob Dylan, because that would have been <laughs> <laughs> really hard to listen to. Where it's like. I'm going out tonight, but my hips don't lie. I'm starting to feel it now, boy. <laughs> that would have been interesting. That would have been interesting. <laughs> you would have been like, I wish I should have gotten a rock and roll. <laughs> it's like, gosh. Uh, but more on this album, you have, it, the, you have to tell me about the, is it the Barefoot Foundation? Yeah. Now tell me, what is that? And what are you doing with that? Uh, when I was 18, I decided to establish this foundation in Colombia. Um, basically, we focus on, on providing education and food and... Um, psychological support and and building schools for for kids who have who belong to families who have lost it all who've been displaced by violence or who live in extreme poverty or, or situations of of conflict you know in the middle of the crossfire because of internal conflict in in my country so we've been working on that since I was 18 years old and wow. and um, yeah we, we're I mean, about to cool open our to get school. in at 18 that's pretty 
That's pretty adult of you. At 18, I was like doing whippets in a parking lot somewhere else. Good for you. For, for charity, for charity. Uh, but I mean, but I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, you have good guidance. I mean, is it your parents or your manager or who is helping you through this? Well, I grew up in the developing world and I grew up seeing so much social injustice and so much inequality. You know, Latin America is the one region in the world with the, 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 the biggest inequality. And, and, and that means that a lot of people have have nothing and a few people have a lot and there's a huge gap between the poor and the rich and I know for sure that education is is the way to close that gap or to make it smaller and and it's the right strategy to fight poverty you know I've seen it with my own eyes I've seen how education transforms the lives of, of not only the kids but also their families and that's why in our schools we we really insist on not only providing food for the kids and and making sure that they receive high quality education but also making sure that the, the schools are also community centers, that they're open the, to, to the entire community, to the youngsters, that they can enjoy the sports facilities, and, and that yeah. it's really like, like a mother with, with open arms, almost, like, like, or, or an, analogy, an analogy to that, because in many places in Colombia, there's a lack of government's presence, you know? Or yeah. there has been for many, many years. How do people find out more about this? They go, do you have a website? Is it just? Yeah, we, we do have a website. Um, um, Barefoot Foundation. Barefoot Foundation. Dot org. Dot org. Yeah. That's really cool that you're doing that. That's very, very awesome. Because you got Thank that you. fame and you, you do something with your fame and you're doing it. That's really, really cool. Well, I feel it's like my, it's also my, my moral duty too, you know. It's, it's, and, but it also gives me so much, so many satisfactions, you know. It's not a sacrifice at all. It's something I enjoy. It gives me a lot of joy. And, it's yeah. so much fun. Every time I see you, it always looks like you're well, having so much fun. I don't do fun. it by myself, not at all. You no, know, of course. There are a lot yeah, of people who help and volunteers and even American people who travel sometimes to Colombia and, and volunteer their time and their energy and their efforts. And, and that's what makes it exciting, you know, when you know that you... can't you, do it alone, yeah. No, it's you power can't. in numbers, Absolutely yeah. Absolutely not. I was going to ask you, uh, did you see Saturday Night Live a couple weeks ago? <laughs> T Taylor Swift hosted the show and she did an impression of you. So have I know. You, have you seen it yet? Yeah, I've seen it. It's so funny. It's oh pretty God. good. Uh, yeah, I, I was love like, the I she haven't bunny seen part. Yeah, that that... we all have a she bunny <laughs> well, you're, inside. Because you had the record like as she wolf. Yeah, that's your. Because I your always record. say that we all have a she wolf inside. Yeah, so she said you have a she bunny inside. Yeah. and they're doing like a, a, a <laughs> fake like cartoon called Office Bunnies or, or Bunny Bunny Business or something yeah. like that, and she sings one of the songs on the soundtrack as you. Uh, we have a clip. She Take a look. So cute. Oh my God. <laughs> so many bunnies on the floor Very good. Well, uh, the one and only right here, Shakira.